<laughs> and now they're going head-to-head -head in really fun lowers conditions. Oh, absolutely. I mean, how many world titles are we talking here? Two of the world's greatest. And uh, Kelly Slater, Mick Fanning, obviously will go down in history as two of the champions, really, that you want to sit back and watch. I mean, this match is a dream matchup. And I overheard Robert Bartholomew uh, on the beach commentary talk about clash of the titans i mean these guys are just amazing kelly slater got going really quick though joe uh, you know i tell you what a left hander we haven't seen that too much today especially from the uh regular footers going backside on the left kelly slater just kicking the board away right there just drawing first blood How many humans on the planet can do that kind of maneuver kelly here he goes again checking out another left hand option off the bottom, going for a flyaway, backside air reversal, land prone and get back up. Always has the element of surprise, backside three, right off the top. Now looking to finish, Slater goes vertical on the back end and gets out of there. <laughs> what an entertaining ride from the 11-time world champion. I don't even know what you call that first maneuver <laughs> right there. Uh, that's just freakish talent. I mean, that's just such awareness of where your board is flying through the air rotating kind of lost control of the board and landed on it somehow got back up let's have a look see if we can slow this thing right down at the point of impact right here connects beautifully that board comes right away somehow lands on it and gets back up so that's just freakish talent right there that's stuff you can't learn or be taught that is just something you're either born with or you're not Kelly Slater, obviously one of those guys that is born with that kind of talent. Look at this turn right here again, just to finish things off. Just a 4.33 to kick things off and that for a backup. Now fanning to blow the tail. Total control to start. Draws that high line carve into the pocket. Now into the inside. Blitzing a couple of floats just to cover some ground. Still flying down the line. They'll drift the fins into reverse. And a completion for fanning. His mom are all the way out from Australia to watch this matchup go down. Two heavy hitters, the most accomplished surfers currently on the championship tour. Kelly open with a 4-3-3. Let's go to the replay. Here's Mick Fanning. Yeah, Mick Fanning's way of a little bit more traditional style of surfing. He blows the tail out on that first turn. You can see how sharp he looks. I mean, we he looked good in that uh, three-man heat, but it's not quite connecting. Looks a lot sharper right here, knows he's got to be, he's got Kelly Slater, he can't, make, can't afford to make any mistakes, can't afford to miss a beat. He's got to drop bombs left, right and centre if he wants to take down Slater because Slater to me right now after that last wave looks to be in some sort of freakish mode right now. Well you saw that manoeuvre for Kelly, he does interesting manoeuvres like this all the time but it's a mistake, he didn't land on his feet. How are you reacting and how do you think the judges will react to this? Well, let's have a look first. Uh, flies through the air. I mean, the board is completely disconnected. Board lands absolutely perfect. So had he stayed on that thing, it, it would have landed on his feet. But, I mean, that's, yeah, that's just such awareness of where your equipment is. Watch how he grabs for it. Right here, see him grab for the board, connects with it, lands on top of it, and then gets straight back up onto his feet. I mean... Obviously, the judges didn't like that, 4-1-7. I would have given him a little bit more for that. Just, I mean, even though it was a kind of an incomplete maneuver, the ability and awareness that Kelly Slater's got, I mean, look at that, flying through the air, completely loses it. Somehow finds that board in amongst all the, the white water and comes out on, what, on his belly and stands back up again. So... From his board, uh, similar to what we saw from Felipe, this one was a mistake. I, I can't believe it's only a 4.17. I mean, we we saw something at least semi. <laughs> Or not excellent, I think. Good. We'll give it good. But I'll tell you, this whole crowd was The crowd did go crazy, Pete, as we see Fanning lightning sharp all the way through the inside corner, providing another big finish to back up the 6.67. He'd also think an excellent 417. It's clear to hear the reaction. It's just we see full rotations pulled with people on their feet. He had to get back up. But it's still fun to watch. What about Mick's wave? Yeah, Mick, uh, you know, just trying to get a good start right here. Nice flow. That board is just slicing through the water perfectly. Conditions very buttery right now. So once you set that rail, you can kind of guarantee your board's going to grab and just give you that direction that you're looking for. Mick Fanning 
once he gets a roll going, once he finds that form, finds that rhythm, he's pretty hard to stop. 6.67 on his opening wave. He's going to back it up with something good again. So, him and he's like, one step up, you know, and I just saw, uh, you know what, I'm just going to do my thing, I'm just going to surf and be happy, and that's it. And in the quarterfinals, you've been surfing your brains out throughout this swell. You know, you may have the opportunity to have a few days off. You know, how are you going to rest and just get ready for that, you know, pointy end of the competition? Yeah, and after Tahi, I just come here straight. I've been like surfing every day to like nine to like four, and I've been like so tired. And um, yesterday, I finished the contest. I just went surf with my friends and my girlfriend. And uh, line total really up there on the stat sheet as we had Kelly get a right hander during that interview. What do you think, Bots? Yeah, Kelly just lighting it up on the smaller wave. Figured, well, you know, why uh, do those risky turns when I can get uh, pretty good scores on just keep keeping that board on the water? Needed to ride out of that last maneuver. Geez, he looks fired up right now, that's for sure. 6.33 there for Kelly. Now watching Slater under priority looking for the score. Full roundhouse cutback. Gets out in front. Fills in the gaps with a forehand carve. We'll get deep off the bottom to snap it off the lip. Small inside track. Speed jam. And now running after a big finish goes to the air for the reverse. Kelly on wave number four, doing a little bit of everything, a smaller wave that Fanning didn't want. Fanning didn't even look at it, um, and that's the thing with Kelly. Sometimes you, when he's in these kind of roles, you know, the only way to beat him is shoot him in the foot. Have, have a look at that beautiful wraparound there. Not sure how high those turns are going to score. The judges have been very critical, but this turn right here jams it in the pocket. Now he sees that section down the line, up and over there. Now he gets going. Look at the speed that he's picking up and the spin. Oof, really quick right there. Amazing balance from Kelly to be able to maintain that. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be that 8.21 required, but he's looking at a 6.33 as his highest score right now. I think he needs just to get that rhythm going. He caught very few waves in his last heat. Um, I think he just wants to get his wave total up, get that rhythm, get that momentum and hopefully find something special towards the end of this heat. Race is down the line here. The crowd appreciated that. Beautiful landing there. Spins around really quickly. Kelly ends up on his feet. So a good little wave there. Judges didn't really like it that much. A 5.87. It's up to him. He's in a better position for it. And he thinks it's solid enough to turn into score. Setting up that big arc off the top. A big whip again. Perfect start for Fanning. Drills one off the lip. Whitewater section is going to come down in front of him and he'll kick out of his third wave so far. That wave, and I don't think it was going to be an 8.2 for Kelly either. So Mick decided to roll the dice. Two beautiful turns right there. Backed it up with the third, and this is kind of where it was sort of a little iffy there to finish off. A couple of foam climbs, which really isn't going to factor into the scoreline. On the front on angle, Kelly's in position now, needs a 9-0-1 here to come back. Deep off the bottom, there's a the snap, he'll ditch the fins, trying to chase the open face. He'll come from behind, but that wave is shutting down. Advantage well, fanning, yeah, now hitting the two-minute warning. Mistake there, Joe. That was a, a semi-closeout right there. Priority is with fanning, and he'll take this one off Slater. First turn, solid off the combing for Mick. Right out front, big whip into the pocket. Straight up vertical, ditches the fins. Driving through this inside corner, and he'll step off. Meanwhile, right before the horn sounds, Kelly's on his final wave. Coming off a roundhouse wrap, blows the fins out the back. Straight up vertical, right into a bully section. He attacks it one more time. And the crowd is going crazy, honoring two legends of the sport, the most accomplished surfers on the tour, going head to head, congratulating each other for that exciting battle. And we'll get the final numbers in.
What a great way to close this one out. Yeah, uh, it was a, an insane way to close things out. Let's have a look at Kelly's wave. He needed a nine before uh, Mick got that last one. Did Mick improve his situation? Beautiful wraparound cutback. Almost lost it right there. Straight up, throwing the fins out the back, off the bottom, and vertical snap right there. And again, one more for good measure. So Kelly needing a 9.01. This was Mick's first wave of the set. Draws off the bottom, bangs it up through the lip. Needs to better a 7.47. Slashes back, waits for it to stand up. Connects yet again. One more for Mick Fanning. And up and over the white water comes off at the end of that. So did Mick better the 7.47? Did Kelly get the 9.01? It's in the judges' hands. We'll have to wait and see. Look at this right here. Probably the best cutback we've seen all day. Came out, straight up, bang, throws a tail out. Again, straight up, boom, through the lip. And one more for good measure. Is that a 9.77, Joe? Did provide the finish. Well, he took off late. And it was that better than mix 8-2-3? Scores are in, it's 8-5-7 for Kelly, it's not enough. <laughs> Fanning moves on to the quarterfinals as the Hurley Pro continues. Owen Wright, Nat Young coming up next.